Here we are at the very first of August. We've had plants propagating all summer long, at least up to this point. And today I wanna show you the progress, good and bad, of how some of those projects are going. So let's take a look today at some blackberries, some hydrangeas, some green giants, some spireas, and maybe even another plant or two. And let's see how things are progressing so far. Now these blackberries are kind of, they're not really buried up in here, but this area has gotten kind of overgrown. We're just gonna take these tips, like I'm showing you here, and this is just kind of the terminal end of new growth. And we take this tip, stick it down in a pot, just like I've shown you before, and or you could check this one out. This one's starting to root itself just by touching the ground. That's always kind of interesting. So when I'm done with this video, I'm gonna come back here and stick this one in a pot, and there's others that are like it, but I'm gonna just reach back in here and cut these loose, and I think there's five or six of them, and I know that all of them are rooted well, so the blackberry plants should be off to a pretty good start for being ready to sell next season. And then watering these in after I cut them free, you can see they look really nice. Now this is a tray of limelight hydrangeas and I've just taken it out of the mist. This is propagated very successfully. I can see a few cells in here that did not. You can see maybe like that one that's dead and didn't work out, but this is a 50 cell tray and probably 42 or 45 of them look good. And what needs to happen to these limelights at this point is they need to be pruned so it will force them to start branching out. So what I'm gonna do is just take anything that's tall like this. I know this little bloom looks kind of silly, but we're gonna just take some of these tall parts of the plants here and just prune them off. And you can literally go through every one of these brand new little plants, even these that are really, really short and just prune a tiny little piece of them out like that. And that's gonna force those things to branch out. So next season, these will begin to be nice and full as opposed to tall and lanky. Tall and lanky plants are always a bad thing. You always gotta stay on top of pruning. That's one of the things in a nursery that you just have to stay on. And the new growth on these is so tender. You can actually go through here with your hand and just your thumbnail and just pinch the tops, the tips out of these where they put on new growth. And I mean, it's just like pinch pruning or something like that and force all of these new starts to really start to branch. And we also need to start getting these on a liquid fertilizer regimen to get them growing because they are done with the mist. Now, just to show you one example of why you have to get these plants pruned when they're really young, you have to start pruning them when they're young. If you don't, you wind up getting a hydrangea that looks like this. You got a weed in there. There's always a stinking weed. This is a silver dollar hydrangea that I simply failed to prune last year. And this is its second year and it's really tall and leggy and ugly. Now I'm gonna prune this down really hard and make a nice plant out of it, but, but it's gonna be about a half a season behind just simply because of the fact that I neglected it. So it's tall and leggy and doesn't have a lot of branches. This plant is the same age, let me show you this one over here, as this plant. Now, this too is a silver dollar hydrangea propagated under mist last year, really about one year ago at the same time. It's the same age as this plant, but I pruned this one early and got it potted into a slightly bigger pot and it gave it a, a way to branch out. So by pruning it early, this thing's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, twelve, 12, maybe 13 or 14 branches, whereas this one has about four. And in a hydrangea, you are not looking for a tall, leggy plant. You're looking for a nice, thick, full, bushy plant that's gonna produce a lot of bloom. So this is just an example of why you need to prune your plants. As soon as they start growing, you need to get that done. This is probably my best tray that I've propagated so far this year of limelights, and this is probably the worst tray of limelights. I, in a 50 cell tray, I believe there's about six or seven of these that are gonna make it here at all, and I'm really not sure why they didn't make it. I suspect they got too much sun on them, just kind of the angle of the sun and where these were sitting in relation to the mist, and it's just part of it. Not gonna cry about this, not gonna lose any sleep over this. We're just gonna know there's six or seven plants that will turn out of this, and we'll chunk the rest of it in the compost. But that being said, the average tray that I have of these is probably somewhere between these. So probably in the 30 to 35 range is probably about average, but it's time to get those out and start fertilizing them with 
liquid fertilizer. And this is a tray of gold flame spireas, which is just a beautiful little shrub. But let me show you what's happened here. These have sat here for too long, and look at this. They've started rooting into the ground below, and this is obviously not good, but that's what happens when you leave them sitting here too long. These plants will be fine, but we need to take them out of here and get them all pruned and get them into the shade so they can uh, continue their growing but we got to get these out of here now or they're going to be a disaster so we're going to prune these most of them are just one or two tall stems we're going to prune all these so these two will start to branch out we do not want lanky plants they are not pretty they do not sell they are not worth anything so prune them and we're going to they're going to look terrible when we're done but this is what we're going to do And I realize those look like they've been ran over with a lawnmower, but they'll begin to branch out. We'll prune them again in a few weeks, and by next spring, they'll be nice, full, small plants ready to grow and grow and grow and be awesome in no time. This is a tray of crepe myrtles. I've already done a video and showed you guys this, but as you can see, they're continuing to grow. They look really great. We're not going to prune them because these grow upright in one or two or three stems, and we don't want them to be bushy because they're more of a tree. But anyway, they still look good, so... Really glad to see them today. And this is a tray of oak leaf hydrangeas, another 50 count tray, and really proud of how well these have done. There's probably 30 out of 50. This is one of the better success rates I've ever had with these. These are just a little bit more finicky and a little bit harder to propagate for whatever reason. I think they need a little bit less mist than I give them. I'm really not sure. I'm working on figuring that out. But anyway, they look really nice and they just need fertilizer and they need to grow. And uh, yeah, we'll get them in the shade too. And this is a, a, a dish pan of green giant cuttings, and I got them from, not from out of the mist, but I got these out from under my low tunnel, and I stuck these as hardwood cuttings last winter, probably in February. I'm not sure about that, but they are doing absolutely great. And they're somewhere between 50, maybe 70, it's probably not as many as 70 cuttings in here and i'd say at least 40 to 50 that are rooted they've done really really well they're started growing obviously you can probably see that but um super super excited about the success that i have had with these green giants propagating them this way and also have another three or four trays of these right now that are over there in under the mist as well that have not began to root yet they've been in there two or three weeks or something like that but started these in again late winter and Put them in the low tunnel and they have thrived and i'm really excited about these and i want to just make sure that i'm able to keep these going through the rest of the summer and don't mess them up because these are going to be awesome next year and the next year all right so i just wanted to show y'all how some of these things are progressing i know that sometimes you wonder when you're starting out you know if i if i put cuttings in the mist or if i do it some other way what do i do next so that's kind of what i wanted to show you you know if you're growing something that needs to be bushy you need to be pruning those things when they're putting on their new growth. Don't wait until they get tall and leggy and bad looking before you start pruning, start taking care of your plants. So they'll just continue to grow in their plug trays or whatever you're growing yours in. They'll continue to be fine throughout this entire season. And you'll need to deal with them, of course, sometime in the winter or before next spring. But that's mainly it today. So I appreciate y'all watching. I love y'all and I look forward to seeing y'all on the next one.